Hi everyone and welcome to another In The Spotlight review from Eagle Creek Railroad. In this video I'm going to be taking a quick look at the N-Scale Reach Stackers from Cato. I've been looking to pick up a couple of these for the container terminal over on the layout for quite a while. So I was really chuffed to uh, come across a couple on eBay for a really good price. So as you can see they are Cato N-Scale. The Cato part number is 23-516. Um, there is some information on the back there. Unfortunately, my Japanese is a little rusty, so I'm not really sure what uh, what it's saying. But um, yeah, there's a little bit of information there, should you want to look at it. So without further ado, we'll open up the box and uh, get stuck in. Okay, let's open it up and see what we've got. So we've got the display card there. Like I say, unfortunately, I'm not, uh, not sure what uh, what's written on the back there. I'm sure some people will be able to uh, translate it. And inside the box, we've got some stickers. If I zoom you in, you can see you've got some uh, stickers for sort of uh, unit numbers and running numbers and things like that. So that's really cool. We've also got a little uh, sheet show you where the detailing parts go on the stacker which is really really good and then we've got the detailing parts themselves you can see the steps and horns and uh, guardrails and exhausts and things like that so they'll all need fitting I think that's a really nice touch the additional detail I think that's really really good and then you've got the reach stacker itself And to be fair, for quite a small unit, it really is quite weighty. I believe most of this is actually die-cast metal. Um, yeah, definitely, as you can tell by the sheen there, that is definitely metal. There's a good bit of weight to it. I believe from looking at pictures, these open out. Which they do. Like that. So obviously you can pose it with or without containers. Does it lift up and down? I think it does. Yeah, it does. So it lifts up and down as well. So there's a good range of movement on there. And the detail, I think, is really good. You can see you've got the steer in there. That's really good. So yeah, I think they look really good over on the layout. But what I'll do now, I'll add the detail parts and we'll have another quick look and just see uh, how it works with the, with the container. So I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so that's all the detailing parts fitted. Uh, they were a little fiddly, but they are worth it. So if I just zoom you in, we can have a quick look. So you can see you've got the guard railings there. You've got a backup mirror just here. Uh, that's the exhaust. Apparently that is a GPS antenna, which is really cool. And you've also got this bar across the top, which is for the rear view mirrors. And I have to be honest, I think these look really good. The amount of detail for, for an end scale model is, is bob on. So now that I know they all fit nice and tidily, I will glue them in. And I also add the detail impact to the second one. And um, yeah, we'll just have a quick look at them over on the layout with a couple of containers. So I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so I've added a couple of containers to the stackers now. The containers fit really well. They hold it really, really soundly. Um, the clips just on the front and the back there grip the container really well. So I'm chuffed with those. And I think they look absolutely awesome. So I'm really, really happy with those. Obviously I've got a lot of uh, groundwork and things like that to finish off around this area, as with a lot of the other areas to be fair, but um, small details are slowly starting to come together. But yeah, really, really happy with those. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all really soon on the next one. Cheers.